thinking of doing your HGV license or you've just passed your HGV license not sure on driver's hours not sure on working time not sure how you've hitch up to a trailer not sure how you strap a load then why not check out the new essential truckers handbook crack a little book jam packed with information lots and lots of information on it nice handy size to carry around I keep it in my shelf up the top there so if I need it I'll just refer to it it's got so much information in it guys uh, link will be in the description take a look check it out enjoy it enjoy the video guys morning 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 how the devil is everyone hope everyone is well you join me Tuesday oh big stretch ah, join me Tuesday morning I've been on the road since half past five this morning. Uh, stopped at Kiel last night. Yesterday I went to uh, Hayes, returned from Hayes, uh, back to the yard, picked up the trailer I got on now, which is my silver trailer, and uh, headed up towards Gargrave, which is where I am now. Uh, stopped at Kiel services last night and uh, started half past five this morning. Stopped, finished half past eight last night. Uh, had my nine off, half past five. Got here at quarter to eight, um, and it's busy in here. It is really busy. I've never known it's so busy. But uh, yeah, there's a container just pulling onto the bay over there. There's another container waiting to come in. Um, I'm on Bay 10 now, the famous Bay 10, and uh, they're just gone for breakfast now, so uh, they're going to be about 20, 25 minutes to have the breakfast. So I said, that's fine, that's no problem. Uh, from here, I'm heading down to Burton-on-Trent. Um, I've got to, uh, unfortunately, uh, one of the lads last week had a car run into its trailer uh, at about 60 mile an hour, and uh, it's written the trailer off, basically. Um, and there is, um, let's put that on silent a minute. There we go. Um, yeah, it's written the trailer off. A uh, car went into the rear axle, front rear axle uh, on the trailer. I say the front rear. Um, the front offside axle of the trailer hit that and, uh, and literally snapped, snapped the axle off the trailer. And there is a, uh, there's a lot of paper on it. So they've had to, uh, it was recovered on Friday, I believe. Um, well, Thursday, Thursday or Friday. And I've got to go in there today now to... Uh, to have the load transshipped and uh, and put onto this trailer so I can go and deliver it. Uh, it's a load of uh, paper reels, so uh, uh, luckily no one was hurt, no one was injured. Um, but uh, yeah, car uh, car driver has admitted liability straight away, so he didn't see the trailers, uh, didn't see the vehicle at all, um, and he was apparently travelling over 60 mile an hour. So yeah, it wasn't good. Um, so yeah, that's what I got to do. I've got to go down to Burton on Trent, and uh, yeah. So what I thought I'd do is uh, I'd show you a little bit more of the uh, of the of the TomTom Tom Go Expert and how quick it uh, it can uh, calculate and the three different routes they can give you, and uh, yeah, just to show you a little bit. So I'll I'll put the the screen up. I've got the sat nav on in front of me. I've got the camera in front of the sat nav. Now one good thing about the Tom Toms. Uh, if you've got one or more um, on the same account, uh, whatever you put in, it actually goes on to the other system as well. Because um, Claire's got one, and it's all through my account. Uh, if I show you now, if I go on to menu, and then on to recent destinations. Now, Claire, this morning, has been in to Scalmersdale. She started at past three this morning. Uh, she's been in, uh, into Scalmersdale to load, uh, so obviously it's, it's gone into her sat-nav. So if I go into recent destinations, you can actually see there we've got Gerard Place, Scalmersdale, and that's where Claire has been. And um, obviously whatever is on mine, uh, she'll see on hers as well. So it's the same when you want to do a saved one. Um, if you want to do a, a, a My Places, uh, save to My Places, whatever I save, will save to my places obviously and it will also save on Claire's so if ever I go to a place and she's not sure of um, then I can just say to her well I've been there it's been put into my places it'll take you straight to the gate and I know it will because that's what I've set it up to um, it's very very simple to uh, put um, 
one into my places. I'll show you now. I've got this one already in. Uh, if I, what do I want? I want to zoom in. If I zoom in on that, you can see. Uh, now, that's where I've got this one saved to, uh, at Gargrave, because that's basically uh, the main gate, it turns you into the main gate for, to come into here. So if you wanted to save something, all right, hold the finger on that, and there we go. That's the A65 skipped in the Gargrave. I was just pressing it rather than holding it. Right, basically then, all you do, go onto there, add to my places, it's got A65, you can put your own route in there, your own name in there. Uh, so if I put just put uh, test one and then add it, and then that will then be in my places. So if I go back into there now, go into my places, scroll down, it's all in alphabetical order, and there you go, there's the test one. Just by there, and if you click on it, then it'll take you straight to it. So if I go back to that, uh, scroll down, come out of that there, and job done. And that's basically easy as that. How you put in uh, set up something on my places? It's really simple. Um, and then whatever I put in, then. Uh, Claire can see on hers as well because they're all they're all linked. Because, um, they also do come with uh, world maps as well, so you can um, you can update all the maps, uh, whatever you go in. They're all on there. Uh, you can just select which map you want to use, and uh, it'll go straight into it. Uh, right, let's show you the speed. Let's show you the speed. Right, I'm going to. Uh, Where's it to? Uh, Right, DE fourteen one RS. So, click on that. Search DE fourteen one. No, that's a T. Better on that one. Out of the way. One RS. That should come up Derby Road. There we go. Derby Road. Drive. It'll then bring you up uh, your vehicle settings, which is what all mine set up. So I've got uh, 18 meters in length, uh, 2.5 me 2.55 meters in width, and 4.5 meters in height, which is 14 foot 10, which is what my trailer is. So I'll just click on that then, and this is how quick it is. There's your first route. There's your second route, and it should give you a third. There you go. Three routes all booked in, all booked in, all uh, all set up. You can choose whichever one you want. It automatically goes to a, this, uh, the quickest one. Turn right. There you go. Lane. And that's how quick it does. Um, and if you're unsure and you want to do an alternative route, then just find the alternative and it'll give you all three again. You will arrive at your destination at 11.31 a.m. So there's four minutes difference between route one and route two and 11 minutes difference between route one and route three. Uh, all about the same. First one is 115 miles, second one's 133, third one's 135. All got a minute delay. That's probably down on the M6. Uh, so yeah, um, that's basically how easy it is. So I'll come Turn out of that. Right, mill lane. So that's where I'm going to be going to anyway, so I'll just keep that in there. But uh, as I said in, uh, in previous videos, this is all uh, your, your route bar and it gives you all your um, any delays or fuel stations and all sorts. It's, uh, it's a really good system. I love it. Um, so yeah, um, if you are interested, I'll put the link in the description. They're just under £400. So, but I, I just tether it to the phone and I, I never get a problem. It uses minimal amount of data. It's not very often I lose, uh, lose signal on it. And uh, so I've always got traffic. So it's, it's really good. It's not bad at all. So yeah, it's a good little system. So anyway, um, 
yeah, link will be in the description. Uh, if you are interested in having a look at one, then uh, just click on the link and it'll take you straight to the site. So it's very, very good. And the speed on it for uh, um, for calculating is so much quicker than the older ones. So much quicker, four times faster processor. So there we go. So yeah, now I've just got to wait. So I'm going to put the kettle on. I'm going to have a cuppa and uh, shouldn't take them too long to tip me and hopefully by the time I should get down there for about half past 12 it says it's going to be there for 11.34 at the moment but they've only just gone to break so you can add another 20 minutes onto that and then probably another 20 minutes half hour for tipping so it's probably going to be about one o'clock-ish by the time I get down there I'm not doing anything now so I've got it on break uh, so it should by the time I get tipped should reset my driving because uh, as I'm sat in here drinking coffee and not doing anything as far as I'm concerned that's a break um, so yeah it's on break so my driving should get reset so we should be able to go all the way down from here three hours away so uh, we see how that goes so and uh, I might come back to you when I'm leaving or I might just do a time lapse when I'm leaving and um, come back to you then when I'm getting into uh, Burton and uh, we'll have a look at this trailer See how bad it is. I've seen pictures, but uh, it doesn't look good. But anyway, I digress. I will speak to you in a bit. Doodles. guys right I'm at Burton uh, Matt's here and uh, trailers here the thing is oh it's raining and it's uh, only forecast to get heavier and uh, obviously we paper reels that we've got to transfer it over and it's just getting heavier and if the we open the curtains now the better the trailers are gonna get wet the paper's gonna get wet all right mate uh, the real paper going to get wet and it's going to ruin the stock so we don't really want to do that now the forecast is dry tomorrow so Matt has suggested maybe come back up tomorrow and do it um, but uh, yeah not a great deal at the moment we can do so we're just uh, <clears throat> waiting on instructions does that need cleaning? <clears throat> yeah that's better um, yeah, so we're just uh, basically just waiting on instructions now of what to do. And the trailer's over there. 
Um, you can see how much the uh, the axle's been knocked over. It's actually been knocked from there over to there by the car. Um, don't think the car is that it did. There was nothing left of that. Um, so at the moment, it's just basically wait and see, see what happens. Because um, <clears throat> it can only it'll have to load me where I am, and the yard is by there. I should quickly show you. Oh, yeah, that's the yard. There's the trailer, and uh, what out on the main bit of road here, well, sort of side lane, and. Uh, Oh, it'd have to be loaded one side then loaded the other um, with the curtains being open as I said the beds are going to get wet because it's raining and uh, that'll just soak up into the paper because they're only covered with brown paper the reels so uh, it's not as if they're shrink wrapped or anything so there's not a great deal we can do at the moment so just waiting on instruction as I said so a three hour journey down <laughs> could be for nothing then but we see. Come back to you in a bit, let you know what's going on. Speak to the big guys. Toodles. Alright guys, right, it's transshipped, long last, I just thought I'd quickly show you the damage that the car did to the trailer, can have a look at that there, look, it's actually snapped it off the chassis, and then pushed the wheel, or pushed the axle, all the way in, as you can see. Show you the other side now. Oh, walks with this puddle. Matt's up by there. There we go. <laughs> Have a look at that beauty. Look at that. So far, it's pushed it out. Car's gonna be loaded onto the transporter over there. Too wet, got no chance of getting that up there. But as you can see, how much that's pushed that out. It's literally snapped it off the, the axle. So this bit here, well you can see that, that bit there on the other side is completely snapped off. Heck of a mess, heck of a mess. But all the paper reels are transferred over now. Ooh, smell of rubber. Uh, yeah, well you can see there the damage on it. It's hell of a mess. Hell of a mess. But we've done it. We've actually got everything transshipped over now. Just gonna strap it all down. And there's our Matt who came up to help us. Did it all. Oh. We got it done eventually. We got it done. But uh yeah, so just gonna strap it all down now and then uh, what a way to go head back to the yard with it so see what happens later on catch in a bit guys toodles <sighs> flipping warm now oof i've had to climb ladders and everything i got the camera up on the top i got a reverse out of here now so uh matt and one of the boys from uh the recovery place is gonna Watch me out. Right, let's get this done. As it's on, 
I'm heavy, heavy, heavy now. These paper reels up. And luckily, I'm gonna be reversing out on my good side. I watch this raise a while on the fence as well. I'm double check, make sure I'm clearing the car that's parked up there. get one Jesus they're unreal Side, yep. Hello Tom Tom. Not listening to me. It's because the beeping's going. Let's get the seatbelt on. Ooh. Right. Drive. Oof. Come on. All right, where am I going from here? Straight over. Yeah, heavy now. Oh, blimey. Three hours, 21 minutes. I am so warm, it is unreal. Put that out of the way, I'll take my hat off. Excuse my hair, I'm due a haircut. I am just so warm now. Whew. Right. That co-part was just in there, in that uh, recovery place that I've just been to. He's obviously come out a different way. Oh, I've gone in here for some reason, I don't know why, but there we go. And he just loaded all those cars at that place I was just at. You're gonna have to get the aircon going now. I am melting, literally melting. Um, yeah, so Matt's uh, gonna be on his way back to the yard now. He's gonna jump in the van, so he'll be back way before me anyway. He'll probably get there about 45 minutes before I do. Uh, yeah, so now it's just a case of heading back to the yard, uh, drop the trailer, and see what I'm doing tomorrow, basically. But, uh, Last day tomorrow. It's Wednesday tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, Wednesday tomorrow. So yeah, last day tomorrow. And uh got a week off then. And it's uh what are we looking at now? 338. <sighs> two hours, uh two days. Twenty-one hours and twenty-two minutes. 
before the big day. 12 o'clock midday on Friday. A clear and I, tying the knot. Can't wait. Ah, she is. Talk of the devil. Hello, my darling. Hello. Right, anyway, I'm going to crack on now, get back to the yard, see if I can stop melting, and I will uh, catch you a bit later on. Toodles. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Stayed over the surface Now on them um, talking to you a bit sooner but um, I got talking to the lads uh, I'm in Leicester this morning um, I think the last time you see me was yesterday uh, after we did the trans shipping of the uh, reels I got back last night uh, about quarter past seven I think it was uh, finished work at quarter to eight Yeah, I got back at uh, quarter to eight. Come on, pal. And uh, I thought the bus was coming out then. Driver training and whatnot. Yeah, I got back about quarter to eight. And uh, no, quarter past seven. Finished at quarter to eight. I got home for about uh, eight o'clock ish, just before. So. I uh, don't know where I was going with that. Where was I going with it? Yeah, started this morning, then six o'clock. Um, you wanted me to start half past four. And uh, got no chance. <laughs> I'm finishing that late last night, and then coming back in. I wouldn't have been able to do it. The earliest I could have started was five, uh, but I started at six. Came in with Claire this morning. Claire's gone to Westbury. 
was talking to her earlier on, sort of give her directions into uh, where she's going. She sorted that out, so she's tipping as we speak. Is there anything there? You've been in here a bit with me before. No, all good. And just past uh, Dave. He's uh, dropped the first load off here. And uh, I've got the second, I haven't got much on. I've got about three quarters, maybe not even that, on, uh, on the back. I haven't got a lot on. Why is everyone parking forward today? Uh, makes it a little bit more difficult for me. Uh, there we go. Park forward on this today. I do not know why. Normally, it's that's nice and clear, but not to worry. Um, I'm basically just doing this one, and I think I'm going back empty. Uh, I think they're going to give myself and Claire an early finish today because we finish up now. And then, uh, obviously, we're getting married in two days. Well, two days. One hour and no, two days, two hours and seven minutes. Yes, cannot wait. Talking to my son last night as well. He's coming down from Lincoln. Uh, he's uh, getting the train down. He's going to be in the car at about 20 past four tomorrow. So I got to go and pick him up. Um, and we go to my mum's because I'm stopping at my mum's tomorrow night. And then uh, the big day on Friday. Looking forward to it, big time. Um, so yeah, anyway, waffling now. Uh, gotta go up the curtains, let's get this lot off. I'll catch you in a bit. Toodles. shouldn't. The clear border for me. Can't turn them down the clear border for me. Right, I'm on the A40 heading up towards Abergavenny. Uh, I think I left you uh, and the last thing you've seen actually is the time lapse of being tipped in um, Leicester. And my uh, truck decided it wanted to pull in while I was in there as well. For some strange reason why he did that, I do not know. I didn't wait outside, but there we go. So he decided he was going to pull up by the side of me. And then wait there till I was done. There you go. Oop, pardon me. Wind. Um, from there, went to the hub. Uh, been into the hub with me loads of times, so I didn't think he'd want to see the hub again. Uh, so this week's vlog is going to be uh, quite a short one, I think. For me, anyway. Might be about a half hour, 40 minutes maybe. That's short for me. So my last one was hour and a half. Um, 
time is it now? Uh, five to four. Due back at the yard, quarter to five. So about 50 minutes away now. Uh, won't take long. As long as the, uh, the roadworks have gone through half of the runners now. They're only there for a certain part of the day and then they disappear. But they're knocking all the load of houses there. They're knocking them all down. So the gas people are there at the moment disconnecting all the gas works. And I think they're there something like nine till four or something like that. So that should be gone now, so that shouldn't hold me up at any time. Um, Claire's up at Thermo. She's doing a drop and swap at Thermo. Just finished talking to her. Uh, and that's about it, really. Uh, nothing's exciting has happened today. Um, I will keep you up to date with regards to the trailer that you saw yesterday. Um, I've got a feeling they're going to write it off, but you never know, they might repair it. New axle and re-weld the, uh, the piece back onto the chassis that's, that's snapped off. I don't know, put a new piece on or whatever, I don't know, I, I really don't know. But I'll, uh, I'll let you know what, what's happened with it when, uh, when I find out. Um, Ask the BB for seven days now. I'm not back until a week tomorrow. So I've got seven days off. Clay's got ten days off. Um, I know it's going in for service on Friday. And then it's going in for a bit of work then on Monday. So that should be back for me then. Ready for Thursday. I think it's coming back on Wednesday. So no one's using the truck while I'm away. Apart from uh, Paul, a uh, guy in the office, probably, or used to be a driver, but he now works in the office, he'll probably take it down for service. And he'll probably take it down to uh, the Bristol as well for the bit of work to be done to it. So, we will just have to wait and see. But I'm not, uh, not emptying the truck completely, I can take my bedding home, give that a wash, uh, so it's all nice and fresh when I come back. Empty my fridge out. Uh, take my sat nav home with me. Uh, apart from that, everything else is going to stay in here because uh, the boss has said no one else is driving it, work-wise. So uh, that's good. I'm not sure what's happening with Claire's. Whether someone's going to be maybe Kelly, the agency driver, might be in Claire's because Claire's off for a week and a half. So who knows? I don't know. But uh, yes. Uh, we're coming up to four o'clock now. So that's uh, ooh, one day, 20 hours and two minutes. I'm doing Claire's edit now with that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's getting closer. Uh, we've had a nice present off uh, Ferryman. A uh, nice keepsake box with a bottle of Prosecco in there with uh, congratulations on your wedding day, uh, Matt and Claire, and the date of the wedding and time and whatever. So that's something nice to have a nice keepsake so thank you everyone in the office from ferryman much appreciated it's always nice to be uh, to be appreciated i gotta be honest so thank you guys that's everyone in the office richard uh two girls uh matt dave and uh, paul thank you guys it's very much appreciated i know some of you do watch my stuff so Absolutely fabulous. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, don't think so. I don't think now. Um, regards to Tom Tom Go Expert, don't forget to check out the link if you're interested in getting an expert. Uh, pretty cool. I like them. And. Uh, yeah, the only downfall with them is like the one going down through Havard uh, There's no weight limit to it, but it's unsuitable for HGV. But because there's no weight limit on it, I want to try and take it that way. No, Claire and I actually drove it uh, a couple of weeks ago to see what was actually up there. Probably would get an Arctic round. The only tight bit would be the first bend. But I would want to chance it, I've got to be honest. Um, hence why it says unsuitable. But I think the sat nav should have unsuitable and the uh, the seven and a half ton weight limits or weight limits or whatever. 
Oh, pardon me. Haribo's repeated on me now. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so the link for that will be in the description. Um, if you're interested, give it a click. And, uh, and have a look at the website. Do, 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 do. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Um, I don't know when this vlog is going to be out. Because uh, I've recorded it, but... I don't think it'll be out Saturday unless I can get it edited tonight because I know Claire's got a friend coming over today or tonight so while she's busy with a friend maybe I can get it edited because it's not going to take me long there's only about six clips in it so not many uh, so it might be out Saturday if it's not out Saturday and you're watching this on a Monday or Tuesday apologies it didn't come out Saturday uh, obviously I'm going to be otherwise engaged So I'm now going to be cutting up the uh, the 4042 towards Pontypool and back to the yard. Uh, due back to the yard, as I say, about quarter to five. Uh, I'll fuel up, add blue up, uh, wash the truck down, make it all nice and shiny again, ready for when I come back next week. Me. I'll shut the cameras off and I'll think of something else that I wanted to say. Can I remember? Uh, thank you everyone that has um, sent congratulations and well wishes for the wedding. It's very much appreciated. I put another post up this morning saying it was my last day and I've had lots of people saying, you know, congratulations, hope everything goes well, hope you have a nice day. So every one of you that has sent me a message, uh, especially on last week's vlog and the week before, uh, congratulating us and wishing us well for the day very much appreciated guys um, I will try and put something up um, pictures maybe a little video um, I don't know what's happening yet at the moment um, my niece is doing the pho photography for us uh, she's just gone through uh, college as uh, Laura so she's gonna be doing the uh, the photos for me uh, well, for me and Claire That'll be a, a nice little one for a portfolio. Bless her. Um, they're looking forward to seeing my boy tomorrow. Matt's coming down. Pick him up to after tomorrow afternoon. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, everyone that has congratulated us. Thank you very much, guys. It is very, very much appreciated. Right, I'm just waffling now. Uh, there's nothing else to show yet basically now just going back to the ad so um, I'm gonna call it a day on the vlog thank you very much for watching guys if you have watched till the end I do appreciate it appreciate a lot of things lately don't I <laughs> but yeah I do I really do appreciate it I love making them for you I love doing them um, what was that I saw where was I yesterday Gargrave as a young lad uh, he was on Bay 10 before I was um, and uh, he said that uh, he's only passed two months ago and it was through watching myself and the rest of the lads uh, that's inspired him to pass his test do his test and everything else so when you hear things like that it makes it all worthwhile most definitely because that's one of the reasons why I did it uh, show younger people what the job is what the job entails and uh, hopefully inspire them to to do the come and you know try and do the job have a go it's not for everyone and I'll probably get a lot of people saying why do you want to take bring people into the industry it's rubbish blah 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 um, sour grapes that's all I'll say to that you obviously haven't had a 
a good company to work for or whatever else I mean the money is improving it is getting better um, so ferrymen are absolutely fabulous to work for it's the best company I've ever worked for without a shadow of a doubt uh, and I'm not saying that just because I work for them I would say it if I left as well they were they are the best company I have ever worked for they're really down to earth um, they're a family run company they're all for their drivers you're not just a number plate you're a person um, and, and that makes all the difference with these big conglomerate companies I'm not I won't name them but you know what I mean um, you're just a number plate you're a bum on a seat uh, out there to get a job done yes with a smaller company you're still out there to get a job done but you're treated with a little bit more respect you know, you're treated as a person not as a thing and to me in this game that goes an awful long way because if you're happy in a company and the company's happy with you why would you leave at the end of the day and uh, I gotta be honest I intend to stay here until I retire unless anything else goes wrong obviously but um, yeah I intend to stay with Ferryman now until I retire um, and that is uh, 14 15 oh my no 52 so what's these retirement age now 67 so that's 15 years and if I can if I'm still fit enough I'll probably go on beyond my 65th if I can but uh, <laughs> I won't hold my breath not the way I feel at the moment but you never know we see how things go with that but that's uh, a good few years up the line but saying that 15 years will go like that without a doubt four years I've been with Claire has gone like that it only seems like yesterday we started seeing each other that's flown by but anyway I digress yet again I'm waffling <laughs> uh, waffling while I drive so anyway right I'm going to call it a day I am going to call it a day this time I'm not going to go off on a tangent again um, thank you very much for watching guys I uh, do appreciate it as I say I love making them for you um, so yeah keep watching if you are watching and you're not subscribed uh, then please press that subscribe button and also press the no bell notification if you haven't you get notifications of when my videos come out uh, give us a little cheeky thumbs up if you like the video or a thumbs down if you don't like the video I don't mind it's all interaction all helps towards the algorithm um, yeah, I've done it again haven't I I've gone off on a tangent <laughs> right I'm going thank you for watching guys whatever you're doing be safe be good I'll most definitely catch you in the next one toodles <laughs>